ओम शांति सेकेंड फेब्रवरी टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू स्वीट स्वीट लेटर बाबा टू स्वीट स्वीट चिल्ड्रन एसेंस स्वीट चिल्ड्रन यू आर नाउ बींग सस्टेन्ड विद गॉड्स ट्रेजर्स योर ड्यूटी इज टू डिस्ट्रीब्यूट द ट्रेजर्स ऑफ नॉलेज एंड बेनिफिट एवरी वन क्वेश्चन वॉट वंडरफुल गेम्स डू यू चिल्ड्रन प्ले वेन देयर आर ओमेंस ऑफ माया एंसर वेन देर आर बैड ओमेंस यू फर्गेट ऑल थ्री द हाइएस्ट ऑन हाई फादर द टीचर एंड द गुरु द वंडर इज दैट इवन वेरी गुड चिल्ड्रन हुज इंटेलेक्ट है फेथ सेम आई डोंट बिलीव दिस दे आर अमेज बाय द नॉलेज वेन दे हियर इट दे रिलेट इट एंड देन दे रन अवे टूडे दे से मम्मा बाबा एंड टूमोरो दे डिसअपियर वन कांट इवन से एनी थिंग हाउ एवर बाबा से says that they will all still come because they all have to receive refuge from the one father song salutations to shiva om shanti you children hear this song from time to time and you also remember your supreme father the supreme soul the one from beyond this world you always remember someone from who you received one type of happiness or another in banaras there is a shiv temple many people go there and remember remember the incorporeal father similarly everyone remembers lakshmi and narayan because there was happiness in their kingdom this is why there is a pra- there is praise of the king and queen the whole world remembers o oh god the father he alone is the father of the world no one else is the father of the world incorporeal god is the father of the world that one alone is called the avatar the reincarnation he is the only father who does not have a subtle or a physical body of his own even brahma vishnu shankar have their own subtle bodies they wouldn't be called the incarnation either the word incarnation is very elevated he is the father of all the purifier who gives hap- everyone happiness all human souls are at the first satpradhan when they come and then they go through the stages of sato rajo tamo souls have to become impure and unhappy everyone takes rebirth even brahma is called a human being even the dual form of lakshmi vishnu and narayan are called human beings we cannot call them incarnations either the only one incarnation the father comes to give you children the inheritance he comes when the whole world has become impure all human beings are the creation of god the father everyone definitely speaks of god the father by different names and forms the intellects of every soul remember the that father it isn't that they remember brahma vishnu or shankar neither brahma nor vishnu or shankar would be called the father only that one creator is called the father when it is the confluence age of the cycle and all human beings have to become impure the father incarnates in order to make the iron age into the golden age he is the creator it is shown that he carries out establishments through brahma destruction through shankar and sustainment to through vishnu he comes in bharat shivratri too is only celebrated in bharat but people don't know what the name form land or time of shiv is the father says because of not knowing me they say that i am omnipresent they defame me a great deal and because of that the people of bharat have become completely impure i come when everyone in bharat has become an impure soul there cannot be any pure or charitable soul in iron age pure souls reside in the pure world that is called the completely viceless world in comparison the iron age is the vicious world 
द कॉन्फ्लुएंस कॉन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ द एंड ऑफ द आयरन एज एंड द बिगनिंग ऑफ द गोल्डन एज इज कॉल्ड द कॉन्फ्लुएंस एज द सिल्वर एंड कॉपर एजेस आर नॉट कंपेयर इन द सेम वे द एंड मीन्स द एंड ऑफ द होल ऑफ द ओल्ड वर्ल्ड एंड द बिगनिंग ऑफ द न्यू वर्ल्ड द गोल्डन एज इज द प्योर वर्ल्ड एंड देन द डिग्रीज कंटिन्यू टू डिग्रीज even the golden and silver ages are not said to be equal the father says you children recognize me number wise this is said at the time because maya is in front of you she repeatedly makes you forget you say that you are the children of Brahm, brahma and the grandchildren of shiva even though even though you say this you forget on the path of ignorance you would uh, never forget something like this here sitting in front of him you say to him that you are not the you are not the children of brahma you completely forget you forget to such an extent that you never remember him <coughs> again this is a great wonder you people of bharat know it is the supreme father the supreme soul who creates heaven and it is maya ravan who creates hell you then forget both these things you neither know the father nor ravan people worship shiv and burn an effigy of ravan but the wonder the the wonder of it is that they don't know the occupation or biography of the one they worship they also don't know who ravan whom they burn is all the kings queens and subjects are included in human beings all have degraded intellects the father explains none of the subjects none of the others who come to establish a religion is called a reincarnation only the one father incarnates in bharat but the people of bharat forget this although they worship although they worship the supreme father the the supreme soul they don't know when he came or what he did when he came they do not know the father the beginning the middle or the end of creation or the biography of deities and this is why they are unhappy the people of bharat were so happy at the first they were the complete masters of the world now those people of bharat do not know that they they were pure and elevated if they do know it the wonder is that they don't know how they become it the father explains everything so clearly to whom would he explain i explain to my children i reveal myself in front of my children however even the children should also be revealed they say mamma baba and then forget this is a wonder on the path of ignorance one can never forget the father teacher or guru here you forget the parlokic father who is so great and who removes you all your sorrow this is why it is said there are those who were amazed by the knowledge when they heard it they related it and then o oh maya you are so powerful you are those who belong to the unlimited father you considered him to be the teacher and studied with him and you also consider, considered him to be your true sadguru and he is accurate he says i am the father and i will definitely take you to the supreme abode i am your teacher and i will definitely teach you and make you into kings and kings kings of kings i am the sadguru and i will definitely take all of you children back home number wise according to the efforts you make he guarantees this while moving along you forget such a father the bad omens of maya are such that today you say baba and tomorrow you say that you have doubts this continues to happen yes some will come and claim the inheritance at the end when the omens are removed they will come here it is fixed in the drama 
destruction has to take place whose refuge whose refuge would you seek at that time the bestower of salvation for all is one he always takes everyone into his refuge everyone will come and bow their heads but what will they be able to do at that time at that time such big crowds will not be able to come here this play that has been created is very wonderful what uh, what would so many big crowds of people come here and do destruction will then very quickly come in front of you yes they would they will hear the sound of the father says remember me you ha now have to return home however what would be benefits of meeting at that time baba gives the direction that even if someone is abroad he can continue to remember the father so his sins can be absolved his final thoughts will then lead him to his his destination everyone is to receive the message how could so many people meet in one place a very wonderful drama has been created everyone will know that the father has come not all christians meet the pope they can't all go there here too everyone everyone will know that at the end that the father has come and he will liberate everyone and take them back home such a huge dest destruction is to take place the rosary of rudra is so big in comparison to that the rosary of vishnu is so small in fact it could also be said that the whole rosary is that of vishnu first of all there is vishnu the great great grandfather of humanity is brahma brahma then becomes vishnu the dual form of vishnu are lakshmi and narayan there is no difference these are very wonderful things continue to churn these things and you will stay happy baba has explained to you baba has explained to you that only the one is said to be the reincarnation because he does not have a body of his own everyone else has their own baba has to take a body on loan the others have their bo their own bodies anything that is taken on loan belongs to someone else no souls would say that he has taken a loan the souls say this is my body shiv baba cannot say this he simply takes the support of it and gives you give you children knowledge and to teach you yoga you children also know that brahma has taken the support of this body and yet you repeatedly forget this when you become body conscious that regard him f f is lost otherwise if you knew who baba is you would definitely obey his orders you have to take shrimat at every step but maya makes you forget you then sometimes follow shrimat and at the other times you follow devilish directions sometime that side is heavy and the other side is light you sometimes follow his direction at the other time maya's direction if you continue to follow the shrimat of shiv baba alone that is fine you then continue to ascend however some still follow their own dictates you definitely have to put into practice the direction of the father gives you then whatever happens is said to be fixed in the drama in that way the kingdom has to be established there then whatever happens is said to be fixed in drama that way there cannot be the slightest difference in that many come to meet baba but when they go back home everything is finished they don't come with full faith some have 5% faith the others have 15% faith on the path of ignorance when you realize someone is your paternal uncle or maternal uncle you wouldn't have any doubt about it here maya brings doubts and make you fall which means that there wasn't any faith at all 
even while they were developing faith, they disappear. It is wonder that one is the father, teacher and Sadguru. Each one takes knowledge, number wise, according to the efforts they make, as in previous cycle. However, much inheritance each one took in the previous cycle, each one acts according to that. A rosary of Brahmins cannot be created at this time because they are continues to be bad omens and so they break away. They then go into the rosary of subjects. In the subjects too, they are sometimes one thing and the other times they are another. There is definitely a rosary. There is the rosary of Rudra and the rosary of Vishnu. One is a spiritual rosary and the other is a physical rosary. A, a very good unlimited and clean intellect is needed to understand this. You need to be faithful and obedient so that you continue to pay full attention to Srimad. Shiv Baba's service is so great. People say, O purifier, come. Baba establish the pure world and it then becomes impure. Then the father has to come to purify it. Such a wonderful part is played at this time. This is why the greatness is of the supreme father, the supreme soul playing his part. The number of number one memorial, memorial is of the one. People celebrate the birthday of the one who does everything. There is also so much praise of the one whom he makes like that. All human beings at this time are impure and corrupt. In the golden age they were elevated and residents of the land of angels. Paristhan. There is the difference of day and night. We are now claiming the inheritance from Shiv Baba. What do we have to celebrate at this time? Celebrations take place on the path of devotion. At this time, you have to make a lot of efforts to follow Srimad and also to do service. A very good system has been invented to explain at the exhibitions. You children have to pay full attention to doing godly service. Those, those who are being sustained with godly treasures have to do full service, service so that human beings can quickly benefit. Acha, to the sweetest, beloved, long lost and now found children, love, remembrance and good morning from the mother, the father, Bab Dada. The spiritual father says Namaste to spiritual children. We spiritual children also say Namaste to the spiritual father. Essence for Dharna In order to go into the ascending stage, follow Srimad at every step. Recognize the father accurately. Be soul conscious and have full regards for him. Pay full attention to doing godly service. And Make your intellect clean and unlimited with remembrance. Blessings. May you be soul conscious and with the light and might of knowledge become an embodiment of remembrance. May you be soul conscious and with the light and might of knowledge become an embodiment of remembrance. The eternal form of, so of a soul is an incorporeal form of light and your original form is a deity. You will be able to keep both forms in your awareness. When you practice having the soul conscious stage on the basis of the light and might of knowledge. To be a Brahmin means to be an embodiment of remembrance with the light and might of knowledge. Those who are embodiments of remembrance are content themselves and also make others content. Slogan To experience, experience greatness in order, order, ord, ordinariness is to be a grateful soul.
to experience greatness in ordinariness is to be a great soul. Acha Om Shanti.